The 40th annual International Rolex Regatta in St. Thomas brought in international crews from all over the world in both one design and big boat racing, proving the U.S. Virgin Islands a coveted destination. The majority of the fleet had scenic distance racing, while nine Melgus 32s showed up to show off their talents with round the buoy racing all three days. I'm uh, happy to have everybody that's come this year. We are the first regatta that Rolex ever sponsored, so we're really proud of that. That's fantastic for us. On shore, the schedule brought all of the competitors and race officials to the beach for food, drinks, and of course, dancing. The stage that floats above the water to entertain the crowds in the sand sets this regatta apart from all the rest. This year, four Rolex timepieces were earned at the award ceremony. For the IC24s, the king of the competition, Fraita Lugo, still has the local knowledge of the hills and cliffs of Christmas Cove that others aspire to. Winning again this year marks 10 victories and 10 Rolex timepieces. For the Melgus 32 class, the scoreboard saw six different individual race winners and the same top six and with only a nine point spread. A 21 year old hailing from Michigan, Dalton DeVos and his crew aboard Delta posted the scores they needed to have their name called last to the stage in their division. A name that most have gotten used to seeing on the leaderboards, El Ocaso showed the International Rolex Regatta to be no exception. Richard Westland's crew battled with Lazy Dog in CSA Racing 1 the entire weekend, but a bullet in the final race gave the overall win to El Ocaso. Timing is everything. In the IRC class, there was no duking, no battling. Hailing from the UK, Jeremy Pilkington and his crew aboard Lupa of London swept the series with six bullets. Switching from cruising to racing this season has certainly proven rewarding for them. Congratulations to all of the winners. For T2P TV, this is Ashley Love.